Box on X. Back to his value. Hey guys, it's Loa. Today, we are gonna be exposing Bane. The f dating coach, who says that my friend looks like a happy idiot. He also said that my girlfriend is a five. Is that a nice thing to say? I don't think so. I am getting only mid Latinas at best, so I know a thing or two about dating. Let's get started. You know, I wasn't going to make this video because it doesn't really merit this sort of response. I'm not really going to get any attention from this. Well, you just did, man. You're, you're making the video right now, like... You're just triggered. But many people have now told me you've been on Twitter for years doing the exact same things and clearly getting nowhere significant with them. So I'm going to tell you exactly what everyone else is thinking. <laughs> now you're very accomplished as a pickup artist. You pull very beautiful women. This is no small feat and no one's blind to this. That's true, man. That's really true. Like, thank you for stating the obvious. I'm sure that's what everyone on Twitter thinks. That's I'm the most legit out there. I post the best received for more than two years. Nobody else ever posted better receipts than me and proposed a better alternative. I'm the only one who is running a cold approach based lifestyle and who is willing to teach it to others. So thank you, Lua, for admitting it. But what's interesting to me is despite the fact that you promote yourself as someone who has no layers, as someone who's done deep internal work to remove trauma, to be authentic, Maybe my behavior seems strange to you because you have never met anyone who is truly authentic. You basically only surround yourself with yes man, money, Twitter dorks who are all the same, so that's understandable. Why would someone like that need to prove he gets hot girls? Well, I need to prove that I get hot girls because I am a dating coach and a dating coach needs to show his receipts. Why would someone like that need to attack people unprovoked? I never truly attack anyone personally, but you are so self-centered that you think that it's all about you. I just attack the fact that people like you think that they have it figured out. Pretend to know how to get hot women when clearly you guys have no idea how to get them. The problem is that guys like Lua takes everything personally because they had a lifetime of bullying, falling short on their dating goals. These behaviors are not congruent with someone who truly has no layers. The cool guy in high school does not get proof that he gets hot girls. It's just known. What do you know about being cool in high school, man? The cool guy in high school was always pushing down others to bully or inspire them. And regardless, he was always bragging. Always. The nerds like you can say whatever they want behind his back. High school never ends. Which leads me to believe that your whole persona is born out of a deep insecurity. Out of a need to exact revenge on the types of guys who bullied you your entire life. He has no basis. He's just making shit up. Saying things as he wishes they were. Guys who go on to be multi-millionaires. Guys who have an army of kids who are willing to go to war for him in the comment section over a fucking pathetic internet dispute. Man, I don't need an army of kids to fight my internet battles. I can do it on my own. Guys in their 20s. I have a woman who worships the ground I walk on, who will do anything for me, who will bear my children. And that's a far cry away from anything that you're capable of. You know, I heard that you can't keep a woman for more than six months. Why is this? Anyone can make a little money and find a five out of 10 girl with tattoos who is not hot enough for the truly cool guys, but just hot enough for a guy like Lua, who has no choice between doing coke and banging hookers or wifing up a five. It is the main team of money Twitter. I see this every single day. Because of their money, they think they have it figured out, but they are at level zero. If you truly want to get a low exposure girl, a stunning girl, like the girls I'm getting, it's a skill you need to develop. And I'm the only one around willing to teach you that skill. Here's another anecdote, proving that muscles and money alone will not get you hot girls. Are you afraid of the repercussions? Are you afraid that she'll be mad at you? It's not alpha behavior. Or is it that you're afraid they're gonna leave you like everyone else did, like your parents did? Say the guy who is going to put babies in his 5 out of 10 Latinas so that she doesn't leave him for a guy who will. I think what you have is deep, unresolved childhood trauma. Traitor! Which leads me to the heart of the matter. Bro isn't even saying anything. He's just projecting his own insecurities onto me. And people are liking it because they are like, yeah, let's take down the mean bully Bane. Like, Which is the fact that you're stuck at 2.4k. Twitter followers. Bro, you have like 1k followers. Why do we even talk? You sell a sauce membership every six months. You make no money. 
Nobody likes you. You only have really two friends from how I hear it. Not everyone has an army of kids like you to protect them. And the truth of it is, you're so unrelatable. You alienate everyone who comes close to you, who sees your content, who reads what you have to say, who looks at you for that matter. These are all very serious questions you need to ask yourself. Yeah man, it's because there are never been anyone like me on Twitter who has been cool his entire life. I didn't decide to get cool out of nowhere in my early 20s like all of you guys did. I was like this from the beginning. These are all very serious questions you need to ask yourself. Very serious. Now here's some genuine advice. You need to drop the Patrick Bateman shtick. It's not fucking working. Drop the moral fag persona and you may pull some hot girls one day. Nobody likes you. You don't get any attention. If you truly want to help men, like you say you do, and you truly want to make money, this is not the way that you would approach this. Lua obviously knows how to teach men about dating better than I do. You don't need to use some pathetic attack tactics to do this. And if it worked, you would already be high up. So what I tell you is this. Heal yourself, do the actual work you preach, and then you're gonna start making some fucking money. People will care about what you have to say. Unlike most of these dorks, I am not looking for quantity, I am looking for quality. It's about building a strong community and I'm not treating people like robots the way he does with his army of kids. And until then, you're just a pathetic fucking f and relax and smiling. Oh! Oh! So you see, he fucked around. And he found out. <laughs> Lua is just another geek who made a little bit of money doing soulless shit. He found a mid girl and now he thinks he had life figured out. In reality, the girl he has can easily be backed by a guy who is working a 9 to 5. Nothing about his life is inspiring. He has money but he has no freedom at all. That is very obvious when you look at the choice of his partner and how triggered he is getting when I'm pointing it out. Another wannabe who is happy with any type of it took him years of hard work and dedication to achieve the bare minimum.